Yeah, hi friends, uh, my name is Rudeep Chandler and welcome back to my channel Energy and Environmental Education. Uh, friends, this is the second part of the chapter Electrical System. Uh, the first part already I have made and uh, already posted uh, if you have missed it. So please go through the first part and then come back to the second part. Uh, in the first part, I have already discussed the, about the electrical system all about and also I have discussed about the electrical transmission and distribution uh, section of the chapter and the basic concepts and important questions that can come in the examination on transformer section of the chapter. Those things already I have discussed and in the first part of the video, uh, this is the second part uh, of the chapter and uh, the chapter part that I am going to discuss in this video is basically the power factor which is really very important number of objective questions you can, uh, uh, can expect to come and also number of short type numericals and short type question, questions also can come from the power factor uh, part of the chapter. So uh, those uh, uh, aspirants who are looking forward to take exam in this year or the next year please watch this video and maybe this video can help you to prepare your exam in a better way friends. So before wasting more time let's start the video. So today's topic is power factor friends which is very important as far as the examination is concerned so those who are looking forward to it uh, for the examination so you can really expect number of questions from power factor maybe from numerical part also you can expect to have few numericals from power factor also number of objectives can be expected from the power factor part of the chapter so uh, uh, this is the content first uh, what I am going to I mean, discuss on power factor in this particular video friends. So in the content section, uh, I'll start with uh, what is power factor all about and then uh, I'll also discuss about the important formulas for power factor, I mean uh, the formula which can help you to uh, I mean, calculate power factor and also different type of numericals you can solve using these formulas which can come in examination and also this will be uh, formula, uh, formulas which can be expected in objective type question also. So those formulas I'll be dealing with in this particular video and apart from this also I'll be uh, discussing on the causes of log, uh, power factor mainly. Uh, uh, those questions also can be expected in I mean short type uh, questions uh, in the examination apart from this also I'll be dealing with the power factor corrections so uh, short questions also can be expected from this part uh, power factor correction and also the effects and the cost benefits of power factor so those things can be uh, I mean expected uh, in, in a, as a short answer type questions uh, so basically I'll be dealing with all these points in this uh, video friends so let's start the video and before we proceed, let's see a short clip on power factor to understand uh, what is power factor all about. Industrial and commercial businesses pay for electricity by the kilowatt and also pay a demand charge expressed as KVA, kilovolt amps. In an alternating current or AC electrical supply, power factor also comes into play. Power factor is the ratio between the actual power being used and the apparent power being drawn. Let's first look at some basic terms. KW is the power that actually powers the equipment and performs useful work. We'll call it active power. KVAR is reactive power. It is the power that magnetic equipment such as transformers, motors and relays need to produce the magnetizing flux. This is non-useful power. KVA is apparent power. The total power consumed, KVAR plus KW. Here is a simple analogy from everyday life to help you understand power factor. It is a hot day. Here is a glass of beer. The thirst quenching portion of the beer is represented by KW. The beer comes with some foam. I'm sure you'll agree the foam doesn't quench your thirst. The foam is represented by KVAR. 
The total contents of the glass, the beer and the foam is represented by KVA and you pay for both. A power factor of 1 would mean 100% of the supply is being used efficiently. Therefore, there is no reactive power. KVAR would be very small, the foam would be approaching zero. Unfortunately, a power factor of 1 is not obtainable because equipment such as electric motors, welding sets and fluorescent lighting create an inductive load which will cause the power factor to become less than 1. A large electric motor might typically have a power factor of about 0.85 at full load. Let's say our motor is rated at 100 kilowatts and the power factor is 0.85. The electricity supply would have to supply 100 kilowatts divided by 0.85, which equals 118 kilovolt amps, KVA, to provide the 100 kilowatts to run the motor they would be supplying 18% more electricity than they are charging for. And that is why power supply measures maximum demand KVA, because the current drawn is dependent on the power factor for the same load, and the current drawn is calculated with KVA. Bad power factor means that money is unnecessarily spent, and there is an increased load on the electrical distribution network. Both can be reduced through the use of a correctly installed power factor system. What causes bad power factor? Bad power factor can come from the following sources. Transformers, induction motors, high intensity discharge lighting, welding machines, arc and induction furnaces, and power rectifiers. Immediate and significant savings on your electricity bill. Improved plant efficiency and longer equipment life. Increased capacity of electrical infrastructure and equipment. Reducing loads on cables, transformers and switchgear. Elimination of low power factor penalties. Contribution towards reduction in carbon footprint. Uh, so friends i hope uh, now you have got a bit of idea of your idea on what is power factor all about and the different type of powers that is active power and the reactive power and the apparent power uh friends you may get some uh, questions based on the formula that is displayed on the screen that is p equals to 3 v i cos pi or p equals to 3 u i cos pi this is the basic formula for calculation of the active power so in the exam you may expect to have some questions on the uh, direct questions on the calculation of active power also they may ask calculate the reactive power based on the formula displayed on the screen and also the apparent power based on the formula again displayed on the screen so you may be asked to calculate the active power reactive power and the apparent power uh, you may expect some uh, objective type questions or the short type questions and also they may ask you to calculate the power factor which is the formula active power by apparent power to calculate the power factor that is cos phi so either you may be expect uh, so you may be asked to calculate uh, the power factor and they may give you the active power and the apparent power and straight away you can determine the power factor or they may ask you to first of all calculate the active power and then the apparent power and then the power factor so uh, you may be asked in a objective questions to calculate the power factor or short type questions now where you need to define the power factor and the active power and differential between the active power, active power, apparent power and then to calculate the power factor based on the inputs that they provide you. So this is very important part of chapter friends and this formula is really very important which you need to remember for the preparation of the exam. And this is very important point friends, the causes of low power factor. Uh, in India, you must have seen number of plants are there, facilities are there where the power factor is low. So even in questions uh, in the exam, you may expect to have some questions based on this power part of the factor, whether it is the causes of low power factor. In the exam, you may expect some objective type questions or maybe some uh, short answer type questions or the true false based questions where they may ask you to I mean, explain the low power factor in the short type questions and objective based on these uh, points that are displayed on the screen. So basically you must remember all these points and uh, maybe you may uh, ask to explain in very brief uh, the, these points during the exam. Uh, I think friends, this is also a very important part of the chapter in the power factor correction. So you may expect a number of questions based on this power factor correction part of the chapter. I mean, if they may ask you to uh, explain in detail or uh, 
by the, uh, the, uh, the different ways that you can write the power factor and testing the power factor at different locations. So either they may give you one full question uh, uh, on power factor actual part or they may ask you to differentiate between like uh, uh, what is the difference between the capacitor if it is placed uh, near the equipment or if it is placed at the main service level center. So they may ask you different ways the same question. So this is very important to understand why the capacitors if it is placed near the equipment what are the advantages and what are the disadvantages uh, and again if it is placed in a group then what are the advantages and disadvantages and if it is placed at the main service then what is the advantage and the disadvantage so you can expect a full long question uh, based on this particular part of the chapter or you may expect some uh, difference uh, between type questions uh, in a short type questions also you may expect and also some uh, objective also can be expected from this part of the chapter friends so you should remember the power factor correction part and again friend, this is also a very important part the effect of the power factor correction i mean what is the reduction in the energy consumption with the uh, uh, correction in the power factor so this is a very important formula that you should remember where the uh, uh, power factor one is the initial power factor what it was before and the power factor two is the corrected power factor after the correction so the formula is one minus under bracket power factor one by power factor two and uh, square into 100 so this is a formula to calculate the reduction in uh, energy consumption with the correction of power factors for example if the power factor was initially 0.80 and then it was corrected to 0.95 uh, by the power factor correction uh, 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 method so what is the reduction in the energy consumption this is a formula to calculate it so this is uh, if you remember this formula friends uh, this can come in examination as a short uh, type uh, in formula based questions or can exam in the objective type question also friends and this is the effect of low power factor friends you can see like suppose if the power factor was 0.4 initially then it was uh, the total current at the drawn was 250 and then it was increased to 0.5 suppose then the current is reduced to 200 so as the power factor is increased or it's done better then you can see the less consumption of current so this is the effect of uh, good power factor or low power, power factor friends so as the power factor is lowered you can see that there is more consumption of current or uh, just reverse if the power factor is done uh, good i mean there is increase in power factor so the current drawn is less so this is the effect of low power factor or you can see the effect of good power factor uh, similarly you can see the effect of a power factor on, on energy cost uh, the way uh, i mean the as the power factor is lowered you see there is more loss of energy in the form of heat and uh, if you increase the power factor such like suppose when it was 0 0.4 the loss of energy was 625 percent wise mm, again when it was increased to 0 0.8 and the uh, percent loss of energy in the form of heat was around 156 so as you increase the power factor there will be less air, uh, loss of energy in the form of heat so this is the effect of uh, power factor on the energy cost friends which is really important to you to understand and friend this is a very important part the cost benefit with the improvement in the power factor so you may be asked to explain the cost benefit with the improvement in the power factor in the exam friends so you may expect to have some short type questions or the part of long questions where uh, you may be asked to explain it uh, the different uh, cost benefits with the improvement in the power factor so these are also some of the points like with the improvement in power factor the reduction in kva or maximum demand is there also there is a reduction in the distribution losses in the network and apart from this also there is better voltage at motor terminals and improved performance ultimately of the motor and the fourth point is with the improvement in power factor you will have less penalty or eliminate the penalty charges imposed due to low power factor and the last point is the investment of system facility like cables, switchgears, transformers is also reduced so these are some of the points you should remember as a cost benefit with the improvement in power factor and you may expect some questions on this part friends uh, and then also this is very important the overall benefit of the power factor correction so these are the, some of the points which you should remember uh, you will be asked to uh, explain the overall benefit of the power factor correction in the exam paper so you can expect to have short type questions or a part of long question so you should remember all these points and with this friend i'm ending the uh, video the part b of the electrical system so it uh, stay connected for part c friends which i am going to upload in coming days and uh, also would like to request you to connect with me uh, this is my email id is 07 at gmail.com and this is my mobile number 9354095167 so you can connect with me and you can share your inputs thoughts 
and any suggestions if you want to uh, give me or if you want to have any support from my side you can straight away connect with me and this is my website techgreenstage.com so you can also refer some blogs which I have posted and also I am going to post in coming days so those blogs also you can go through uh, apart from this uh, just I would like to request your friends uh, uh, please uh, subscribe my uh, channel that's if you channel and also please uh, press the bell icon such that the video that I upload in coming days straight away you get the notification and please share the video to your colleagues to your friends who are preparing for the exam in this year or coming years so this will motivate me to prepare more videos and post in coming days friends so that's all for today friends and let's see uh, let's meet with you in the coming video the part c of the chapter electric system in coming days